flash-based external direct attached storage DAS, devices have evolved rapidly over the last few years, starting with simple thumb drives that could barely saturate USB 2.0 bandwidth. We now high-performance external SSDs that take advantage of the USB 3.1 Gen 2 interface to saturate the internal SATA bandwidth. The introduction of PSI-based SSDs have enabled mass-market storage devices to break the SATA barrier. The proliferation of Thunderbolt 3 that drives up the available bandwidth by a factor of 4 compared to USB 3.1 Gen 2 has ensured that the full performance benefits of the internal PSI interface can be made available in external devices. A number of high-performance direct attached storage DAS, devices have attempted to take advantage of the benefits of Thunderbolt in the last few years. However, they have either required external power adapters, such as the Lossy IED2 Thunderbolt 2 SSD upgrade, or, in the case of bus power devices, been held back by an internal SATA SSD, e.g., Lossy IE Rugged Thunderbolt. The pricing of such devices have also restricted them to the high end slash professional market. In this context, the introduction of a reference platform by Fison at CES 2018 is sure to address the shortcomings of the current external Thunderbolt SSDs in the mainstream market. Introduction Tech has been in business as a manufacturer of Apple MFI certified peripherals for some time now. They are new to the direct attached storage space, but their first product in that market segment, the Rapid Thunderbolt 3 external SSD, leapfrogs most of the other bus-powered alternatives in the market. In terms of both performance and pricing, the Tech Rapid is a 98mm X, 45mm by 12mm silver-colored external SSD with an aluminum chassis. It sports a single Thunderbolt 3 interface for both power and data. The port is enabled by the Intel DSL6340 Thunderbolt 3 controller. Note that this belongs to the Alpine Ridge family, and hence, works only with Thunderbolt. 3 Type-C ports. On the other side of the DSL6340 is a PSI 3.0 X4 connection that leads to a M.2 slot capable of accommodating M.2 2260 or 2280 PSI SSDs. There are no plastic components in the chassis. There is nothing preventing advanced users from installing their own M.2 PSI SSDs in the internal M.2 slot. However, Tech plans to sell the Rapid in three different capacity points. 240 gigabytes, 480 gigabytes, and 960 gigabytes. Based on our teardown, the internal SSD doesn't seem to be a brand in one. Instead, it appears to be a Fison reference design using the E7 controller along with Toshiba's MLC non flash. Unlike similar products such as OWC Envoy Pro X X Day that are available for retail purchase right now. Tech has opted to go for the crowdfunding route to garner more exposure prior to a wide market release. As a matter of policy, Onan Tech does not cover crowdfunding projects. There are very few exceptions, most of the ones that pass our bar are ones where the product is close enough to the launch that manufacturers are ready to have us post a hands-on review of the product. The Tech Rapid is one such device. Tech's crowdfunding initiative will go live on February 21. 2018. Tech sent over the 240 gigabytes variant for review. In addition to the main unit, a half a meter Thunderbolt 3 cable, certified for 40 gigabits per second operation, is also bundled. The Tech Rapid is around the size of a credit card and weighs 135 grams. With Tech's own internal SSD solution, read slash write speeds of 2700 megabytes per second 1500 mbps are claimed with the random read slash write iops coming in at 300k slash 250k respectively prior to looking at the internals crystal disk info provides some insights even though crystal disk info puts only smart in the features section we will see later on that trim is also supported the Thunderbolt link is essentially invisible to the Thule, with NVM Express listed as the interface.